safety thing. Well, the Stanislaus Regional Transit Authority is using a new tool to monitor its buses. So let's talk about this system. They say it's helping them prepare for a greener zero emissions future. Your reporter covering Stanislaus County, Nina Burns, joining us live, getting answers on how this tech works, Nina. That's right, Tony and Marley. Now, when a bus breaks down mid-route, riders are the first to feel it. But Stan RTA says they can catch the problem before it hits the road. And that's all through artificial intelligence. We had a predictive maintenance software where we could uh, know about these issues before they happen. Detecting problems before a check engine light turns on increases the uptime of the buses to keep more buses on the road. That's the goal as Stanislaw Regional Transit Authority adds artificial intelligence. The system in route is already live inside of their buses. Making recommendations at runtime around how much the vehicle is idling, how much it should idle, what's wrong with different parts of the engine. The company behind the tech says it's designed to act like a pit crew, making adjustments as needed, even analyzing driver behavior. Uh, which driver is uh, you know, breaking too heavily, uh, which driver might be cornering too harshly and, and so on. Stan RTA is making the move towards hydrogen powered buses. I mean, does your guys' AI software support that type of bus system as well? Yes, we're already heading in that direction. Stan RTA purchased three hydrogen powered buses last year and expect a hydrogen fueling station by the start of next year. The state has a requirement for transit buses to be zero emission by 2040. While the AI may be watching the state of these buses and their drivers, reactions to that idea are mixed. It's doing it better than any human could. Why, why would we stop that? Creativity should be left to the humans. This sort of thing should be left to the AI. And that's the bottom line. Basically trusting a bot, you know what I mean? I would feel more comfortable if I see like a maintenance person like actually fixing it and be like, do not worry about it. But really in the end, provide a better service to the riders so they don't have to be broken down or on a bus that's broken down on the side of the road. Now, Stan RTA CEO Adam Barth says they're charged per bus that uses that AI software and every month, but they believe they'll save money in the end by having to repair buses less. I'll send it back to you guys. All right. AI seeping into our lives yeah, daily. Everywhere. Thank you, Nina. Live in Modesto.